Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys the top three tips for increasing Mac performance in 2024. Before we jump into that video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a large variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna focus on three different methods of increasing our performance. The first thing that we'd like to focus on is optimizing our storage. Click the Apple menu in the top left and we'll hit About This Mac. Click More Info. Scroll down to where it says Storage Settings. From here, we'd like to focus on the recommendations. The first of which is Store in iCloud, so we can turn this on and configure it as it's applicable. We can also optimize storage automatically. I'll go ahead and turn that on empty trash automatically as well. Once you've worked through the recommendations, in addition to that, we can go through and manually look through our documents. For example, I have a massive amount of storage being consumed in my documents folder, and so it'd be wise for me to go through that and remove anything that I don't necessarily need. However, as long as your disk space isn't super full, so I still have 230 gigs available, we shouldn't experience too much interruption in our computer's performance. Next up, let's take a look at our startup items. Let's go back to the Apple icon and we'll hit system settings. Click on the general tab on the left and we're going to click login items. We would recommend leaving on official Microsoft or Apple services. However, I'm going to turn off things such as Steam and VirtualBox. In some cases, it'll require us to provide a password or fingerprint. I'll switch off Zoom as well. Google Updater, Dropbox, and OneDrive are all fine with me because these are syncing on the regular with some of my different files. So I actually want those to start up when I turn on the computer. Back in the general tab, we're gonna to go to software update. Our last tip to speed up the performance is to maintain the latest available software on Mac. So in my case, I have an upgrade due for Mac OS Sonoma. So I'll go ahead and click upgrade now, and I'll hit agree. Type in your computer administrator password, and when this downloads, I will restart and upgrade to the latest version of Mac. All right, guys, once you've implemented these changes and gone through and sorted through some of your larger files on your computer, you should see a pretty good jump in the performance of your Mac. If you have any questions about any of the topics we covered in this video, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.